Hello everyone, and welcome to the Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena, but we'll be actually playing Escape from Butcher Bay today uh, with Frozen Foxy here. So, I figured after a miserable stealth experience, I needed a good stealth experience, and for those of you who have watched my streams, you'll know that I actually did this on stream at one point, so, um... This is a fantastic game, and I already know it is, and I love this game so much. Um, I did a little tape, uh, bleh, a playtest profile here, but we're going to go ahead and uh, make a new one. I love how that types in there. That's so awesome. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do Butcher Bay, which is also a 2004 game. It seems like the mecca of awesomeness came from 2004. There was like Thief Deadly Shadows and Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines and Doom 3. It was an amazing year. Very good year. We'll go ahead and do this on normal. We're moving again. They just transmitted a safe route through the minefield. That minefield's offering better odds than you're gonna get taking me to Butcher Bay. You think Hoxie's memory is that short? He gets one look at you, Riddick, and all is forgiven. And I bank your bounty plus 50. Plus 50? Now come on, Johns. Greed is an ugly thing. You're in no position to negotiate, Riddick. Forgot you don't like this part. Statistically, landings are the most dangerous. <laughs> you got nothing left to live for, Riddick. I do. I shut up, would you? You're already counting, aren't you? I said shut up. Your funeral. go where I say, when I say. The voice acting in this game is absolutely fantastic, and um, way, way better than uh, many, many games. Of course, the, uh, the lips don't move all that much, but you know what? The voices really immerse you in this game. Um, it's a little bit awkward moving around at first because you actually have feet in this game and so as you're moving um, Riddick will reposition himself as if he was actually turning which is a really neat feature um, you can't actually go out here if you really feel like it even though this guy is kind of standing here looking at you with a gun but there's actually a minefield out there so there's no real reason to uh, go down there check out this help Walk up to character, press E to initiate dialogue mode, and press E to select response. Good to know. Hey, Johns. So, um, Johns is actually from the uh, original movie Pitch Black, um, and Butcher Bay happens before Pitch Black. Um, so there's a lot of story going on here, which uh, this game is just fantastic. Hey, don't fucking move. Looks like the subtitles might be off. I turned them on on the other account because I was testing things. I figured it would uh, still be there. I'll have to uh, fix that in a second. Anyway, let's try to uh, scare Johns about being ripped off by Hoxie. Today, Johns, you get fucked. You don't move until I say so. Hey, hey, hold it. You go where I say, when I say. All right, we'll be I back just in just a second. I'm gonna fix these subtitles. 
Well, hopefully we should be good on those subtitles. Um, so probably as you have been able to uh, garner from this, if you are a fan of the Chronicles of Riddick or Pitch Black, this is uh, actually Cole Hosser here, who uh, played John Johns in the movie. And of course, we are playing Riddick. Jones has his back at you. Attack him. And of course, we're playing Riddick here, um, who is Vin Diesel. So, this is letting us know about how to attack, sneaking up behind Johns and grabbing him by pressing mouse button 2 to silently break his neck. Alright, we can also perform a faster but louder neck break by pressing mouse button 1. Come on, Riddick. Break his neck. Break. Oh, come! I rule! Yeah, I don't think so. New meat learns the hard way. We should get moving. All right, dude. We're we're apparently violating things. We should probably get down here and uh, not be up there. You coming down with me? Press space to jump. Well, usually, yeah. You you coming down here? Okay. Uh, no, he shut me in here. I don't know what he's doing. We can press E to grab on the ladders. I like when games have the uh, the whole sliding mechanic. That is a very important mechanic to have in these kind of games. And we got our first pack of smokes, pack number 35. Bloss cigarettes. Warning: smokers risk loss of bliss. Ah. Uh, Bliss loss, loss. All right, so we got someone down there messing with the panel. We should probably sneak ourselves around a bit here. And be nice and quiet for him. Inmate on the run. All right, never mind. I guess we're gonna fight this guy. So, um, basically, you fight by uh, using various directional buttons. It's uh, very similar to um, manually doing Mountain Blade, I suppose. It's a little more brutal than Mountain Blade, though. A lot more fun, too. Thanks for that Darkness. security card. I can hide the bodies here. Yes, yes we can, Riddick. You know what? <laughs> I feel like Vin Diesel would have made a better new Garrett, in all honesty. That's a very, very sad thing, because he's not really a, uh, a Garrett kind of character, but he feels much better than uh, Romano. I'm sorry, I just really like Vin in this. Alright, well, let's test picking this up. We are still unauthorized. Oh well. So um, when you take any amount of damage, you have these little squares that are up in the corner, and those will uh, slowly deteriorate until the square disappears. If the square disappears, then it's basically gone until you can find uh, a health thing. However, if the square is still around, even a little sliver of it, you can go and uh, sit in place for a second, and it will refill. So, interesting little health system. It's probably telling me about the keypad. Yes, press E to open the door. Access granted. Well, in stealth mode, we can press uh, control for stealth, which I've been doing. Uh, we sneak silently. A blue screen effect indicates that no one can see us. So, um, normally it should be C, but I like control. I'm just kind of used to it from uh, all of my thief days. Look around the corner. See what this pe And so we have uh, V so we can actually do our kind of lean thing. It's um, a little strange to get used to at first, but it uh, it's really helpful. Yeah. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I gotta drop him. I should hide the body. Someone might notice. Got a nice little vent tool here. Go 
ahead and Darkness. hide you. I can hide the bodies here. I thought we went over that already, but you know, whatever. It's probably telling me about uh, dragging bodies. So you can only drag bodies while you are in stealth mode. Which um, is an interesting mechanic because it makes it a lot slower dragging and a lot riskier. And I like that, actually. <laughs> This is, this is a very neat game in that you can switch between stealth and action really quickly, and it feels very smooth. There's a few glitches here and there, but for the most part, this is a fantastic game. Yeah, maybe a vent overhead. Maybe so, Riddick, but uh, before we go looking for that, let's go check over here. Man, I wish I had a flashlight or something. What we got going down here. You who? Anyone home? Let's see here. There's probably other guards around. Yeah, we already hid that body. What else? Climb up on something. So this is talking about pressing E to climb up on things. Um, honestly, I find it easier to jump at things and press forward and he will automatically grab onto them. That's just my preference though. So this thing that we just picked up here is money. We actually have a, a little bit of an inventory thing going on and we can see that we have five bucks of the uh, currency. We also have that security card that we picked up earlier, which is a uh, Class D security card. Which means uh, it's for a maintenance guy, and it sucks. And we've got a nice vent tool to open up some hatches. We have no map. I really like this cube that they've got going on for the uh, inventory and collectibles and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. It feels so smooth, and it's it's really nice with the game. All right, we've got cool drool warning: slippery when wet. Isn't everything? All right, so we have unlocked some more content there. We may go look at that um, when we're done with this game. I can't promise I'm going to find all of the uh, packs of smokes, but I will certainly try. Alright, I always found getting out of here a little bit difficult, mainly because this thing is awfully close, and if you jump at the wrong spot, you kind of bump your head. But, as long as you're in between it, it's not too bad. Alright, let's get up here. This is probably telling us about climbing the hangrail. Use the hangrail, look at it, and press E. Sure. I like these hangrails. They're pretty nice. Hey, buddy. Boom! <laughs> and that is how you take that guard out. You can drop down on enemies that are far below. Kill them to... Or, uh, to kill them, break your fall. Blah, blah, blah. Which is what I just did. You can uh, usually just go there onto that little platform and jump down on this guy if you want to do it that way. But uh, honestly, I like coming down from the, uh, the hangrail. I have found that I am very terrible at dropping on people, so there will probably be many times where I need to be dropping on people and I'll accidentally <laughs> drop to the side. Alright, you are shaded enough for my for my taste, so let's get going. Hey look, a game where I actually feel like I need to hide bodies. Oh, this is so good. I am I'm very happy to be playing this. I've missed good stealth. our way around here in this ventilation system. So the early game of uh, Riddick is very, very, very dark, uh, especially because Riddick does not have his uh, eye capability. A med station takes away the hurt, leaves the pain. 
take that nice cartridge there. I can use this refill cartridge to restore an empty nanomed health unit. So um, if you check out this nice little uh, diamond looking thing here, that is how many uh, health bars are left in any of these nanomed machines. Currently this has zero, so we can uh, refill it. And it's up to four. You are healthy. However, we're healthy, so we don't really need anything. Um, if we get shot in the face, it uh, could be useful. Right now, though, not so useful. Oh god, it's good to have leaning back. To disarm a guard, press 1 when uh, he tries to hit us. So this is kind of like... Um, disarming guards from Mirror's Edge. You have to hit it exactly when they're about to hit you. Um, I found... Mm, just take the gun. I found Mirror's Edge to be a little bit more difficult than this is for Inmate disarming people. Whoops. Thanks for the shotgun, buddy. So we can uh, hold down Z to move around a nice little weapon wheel here. And you can also uh, mark different weapons uh, with 1 and 2. Sadly, there's no 3. It's just the 1 and 2, and I'll stick to our fists for the moment. Got a toolbox here, and a new pack of smokes. Number 6, Desert Air, Extra Strong. Warning, package may induce last breath. <laughs> I love the little messages on these. They're fantastic. Alright, I don't think there's anything else around here, so... Let's get on up here. It's gonna tell me about shimmying, I mean. I think, yes indeed it does. So let's shimmy. Alright. The other cool thing about this is doors that are locked are red right above, so you can tell from a distance if you're going to be able to uh, get through a door or not, which is a really nice feature. We can uh, press mouse button 3 to initiate a melee attack. Now, I have changed that. Normally it should be um, F, however, I like F to be a flashlight instead. So, mouse button 3 for me. Way off to Riddick. I'll keep the fists out for the moment. Guards much with shotguns. Mm, I have to kill him to take it. Much better way of taking people out, in my opinion. Johns brings us new meat, and they fucking waste them. Thanks for the smooth delivery, asshole. I delivered a smooth death to you. How's that? 